Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be trying a new foundation out and I'm actually going to be trying out the Clinique Even Better Glow Light Reflecting Foundation and I believe this just came out not too long ago. Um, these were recently sent to me or given to me which was really kind of Clinique so thank you Clinique. I cannot wait to try these because anything that says glow or hydration, wet looking skin I'm all for it and you guys know that already so yeah I'm really really excited to try that I was also given a few other makeup bits from Clinique so I thought I might as well film like a little mini like makeup tutorial in this video as we go along when I do the rest of my makeup so yeah let's just jump straight into it so I do have three shades and I've got meringue here which I think is too light for me Um, I do have brulee which is wn68 and i think this would be a really nice color match for me and i also have sienna which is much darker than my skin tone but i might use it as contour actually i do have their amazing foundation brush like this it just feels amazing so i can't wait to blend my foundation with this i believe clinique's products are all allergy tested and 100 percent fragrance free which is amazing i actually really like that on the back of the foundation it says it perfects with a soft luminous touch skin looks lit from within instantly and over time so it's kind of like when you remove the foundation it's still kind of helping your skin out and treating your skin it's oil free and it says to shake well and on the foundation itself first say it's a sheer to moderate coverage and it's it has a luminous finish so should we just jump straight into it i'll swatch this one for you guys i think that's a good coverage it might be a bit light but it's a sheer coverage so i think i could work with that it seems to go on really well I'm just going to put a bunch on my hand and get my lovely brush. I've already moisturised my skin by the way. I just zoomed you guys in so you can see better. This brush is so soft by the way. But with this brush, it's more like light to medium coverage. It's not dense enough to give you full coverage unless you really pack it on, but the bristles won't give you that full, full coverage. But this is amazing for like sheer to medium. If you want something like very quick and easy, just to pop something on, it's actually really nice. This is actually going on so beautifully on my skin. I'm really happy with the color actually. Okay, so we are going to jump on to doing the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back.
Right, so I just finished the rest of my makeup. I'm going for like a really soft, natural, glowy look today since the foundation is a glowy foundation. Um, the foundation is actually really nice. I have set it with some powder like I always do with most of my glowy foundations because throughout the day the glow does come through because I kind of get like oily on my T-zone. But even then, like my skin does look luminous and like when I move my face, my whole face is like kind of glowing. I have set it with primer water like I always do. Um, and I'm really really happy with the way it looks. It's definitely not like a full coverage foundation I can see my skin through it, but I'm not mad at it I love like a good sheer to medium coverage foundation when I'm just going to uni or if I'm just going to like a quick meeting in the morning If you're like in a rush and you just want something that's going to even out your skin tone I think this is really nice so far. I mean we have to see how this is going to go through the day um, the shade is actually really really nice. So I'm definitely Brule, which is WN68. It's even gone really well on around my mouth area, which I'm super surprised about. It didn't go ashy or anything. It's made my skin really even and soft. So yeah, I'm really, really happy. I've been loving to wear nothing on my lips lately, just like bare. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say so far. Again, no smile lines yet. My skin it looks hydrated. Um, so far I am really happy with the way this foundation looks. It is now 7.50 so we are going to come back later and check how this foundation looks. Um, I'm going to go work today and it's going to be a really long day but hopefully this foundation is going to hold up really well. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking and I'll be back later on today. Oh my god, my hair's a mess. Okay guys, it is now 7.13 so it's been a good, I would say 12 hours that I've had this foundation on. I look tired as hell. Today's been the longest day ever. I'm not even joking guys. So I'm so glad to be at home. I'm literally gonna go eat and sleep. Just sleep. But honestly guys I'm really really liking the foundation because it's you know you, you guys know how I really like to wear my tinted moisturizer or uh, BB cream on days where I just want natural skin and to let my skin breathe a bit I've done a ton of videos using products like that and you guys know I like natural skin every now and then Even though I love my full coverage though, but this foundation looks so glowy so nice It just it literally looks like I'm not wearing anything but to even everything out Remember guys I've had this for 12 hours and it still looks pretty good in my opinion I don't know I'm really really happy with it The only issue I have with it is that around here. It's gone a bit it's kind of separated my spine lines aren't even that bad but it's just like these areas right here which I'll show you in a bit it's kind of separated and you don't really see it unless you look right up close I have been loving their tinted lip balm as well the only thing is this is so out of the like the video but their concealer that I tried out which I showed earlier in the video I, I'm not a fan of it because I'm more used to my full coverage concealer and this is really sheer but yeah the foundation I am really really pleased I definitely see myself wearing it later on um, I just feel like I would just need to set it with more powder around my mouth area makeup's held up pretty well as well I don't know I'm just really happy with it it's very natural and I felt like my skin was able to breathe today it didn't feel heavy at all so yeah so far I really like it and it's 12 hours guys I can't like for it to look like this 12 hours later, I'm just really pleased with it. Anyways, I think that's all I have to say, guys. I would probably rate this foundation... A... What would I rate it? It's definitely not your full coverage foundation. But for what it is, like a natural, soft, dewy foundation, I would give it a good... What would I give it? A 9 out of 10? I would give it a 9 out of 10. The only thing that's bothered me, honestly, is the separation here, and that's it. So everything else looked pretty good. And again, remember, this is a really natural foundation. You can still see your skin through it. Like, don't expect full coverage um, or medium coverage out of this. It's very light. It's almost like a tinted moisturizer, but with a bit more coverage, like a little bit more coverage. It's almost comparable to a tinted moisturizer, I would say. I feel like this would be, like, my uni foundation for, like, every day. Also, I have forgotten to mention that this foundation has 30 shades, I believe. That is so good, first of all. I'm really pleased with that. The only thing I would have to comment on the shade range is that they could maybe do with a few more darker shades, deeper shades. £27 for how much product? 30 mil? That's alright pricing actually. So yeah, definitely a 9 out of 10. Yeah, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this foundation review and if you want to see other foundations in specific... Specific? In particular? 
that's how you say it if there's any other foundations that you would like me to review just comment down below and say which ones they are and i'll try my best to get my hands on them and review them for you guys i love doing foundation reviews it's just like one of my favorite videos to do for you guys so yeah please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you next time